guys in this video what i'll be discussing with you all is one very important thing that is how can we analyze our mock test performance okay what are the parameters that we have to measure after we attempt a mock test okay so earlier in one of the videos i told you in the last month or about mock test the strategy must be attempt a mock test then analyze your performance then revise the subjects then again attempt okay that is the cycle that you have to follow for mock test now these two things or these two aspects i have already covered how to use mock test that i have already told and how to revise in last month that also i have told now i'll be touching upon this step that is how you can analyze your mock test performance and then use it for revision purpose okay so what are the analysis that you have to per perform first is subject wise performance okay this video is applicable to any engineering branch or all the students who are preparing for gate that is why i will not be taking the name of the subjects i am assuming you very well know the subjects that are being covered in your stream okay <clears throat> like this sort of a table we need subject total question attempted and correct this is the table that you need to make some of the test series may already be providing you with this analysis like creatrix test series is already giving this analysis so it will save your time but if even if you are doing any other test series which is not providing such kind of analysis you can make such a table yourself okay so let me take an example suppose the subject is engineering maths because this is common to most of the branches suppose seven questions were asked from maths i attempted four out of which three were correct so here what i have to observe is that attempt is less but accuracy is good okay that means i have to measure two things out of total questions how much i was able to attempt and out of attempted how many questions were correct so if accuracy is good that is most of the questions are correct we need to work on attempt if attempt is good and accuracy is bad then we need to work on accuracy so like this i'll make a table for every subject okay so now there can be two parameters that i can talk about see what can be the possible cases good attempt with less accuracy less attempt with good accuracy less attempt with less accuracy okay and the last is good attempt with good accuracy these are the possibilities now see what action step do we have to take in each case if the attempt is good but your accuracy is less in this case decrease attempt by one or two but verify your solution suppose there is a certain subject in your engineering stream in which you are attempting well but you are commonly uh, committing mistakes in that subject what i can do even if i do not attempt one or two questions but in that time i can revise 
the rest of the questions then i can make sure i can improve this accuracy but only decrease the attempt by one or two questions like here if i were able to attempt seven out of seven so i can try to attempt six but make sure my accuracy is six out of six is it fine don't decrease the attempt too much if attempt is less accuracy is good increase attempt gradually okay like here our attempt was less i only attempted four out of seven question next time i can target to attempt five okay do not suddenly target that you will be able to attempt seven out of seven such a major change is not practically possible so you have to increase your attempt gradually by one or two problems but maintaining the same level of accuracy so in that case it is good that you are having a good accuracy in the remaining time try and increase this attempt by maintaining this parameter constant do not let your accuracy suffer because of attempt if both are less you need to revise subject one or two times that means this subject i don't have sufficient knowledge or i am not good at this subject i need to revise it if both are good revise but less frequently that is if in a week i am revising every subject two times this subject i can revise only once in a week but it is not that you will not revise you will revise but you will revise it with less frequency okay so revise it less often but do revise it so that you do not lose your strength is it fine so these this is the benefit your of your subject wise analysis so when i talk about revision the revision step i already told we have to revise weak subject weak subject means which subject which lie in the category 2 and 3 these subjects where you either you were able to attempt very less or basically where the attempt was very less attempt was very less means i did not have sufficient knowledge to solve the problems so this is the highest priority in revision okay but suppose there are five such subjects where my attempt is less i am taking the worst case five subjects are there where i am not able to attempt sufficient problems then what should i do then check their weightage in gate exam suppose <coughs> let me take an example in electrical people always have a problem with emt okay why do they have a problem with electrostatics and magnetostatics because their 12th class physics is not very good if your 12th physics is not that good then what happens you are not able to do well in emt but as we very well know its highest weightage can be 4 to 5 marks that means in the last few days it is not very necessary to focus on such a subject which will consume more time and which will fetch less marks okay so if a subject is consistently being problematic to you but its weightage is very less you can leave that out okay but subjects having high weightage you have to revise it then the next priority is one that has moderate priority and fourth has least priority so when you are making a list of subjects that you have to revise or the order of subjects that you have to revise always focus on 2 and 3 and try to basically try to do better in one where your attempt was good accuracy was less learn from your mistakes 
दैट इज इफ यू आर कमिटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ सिली मिस्टेक्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड हाउ टू मिनिमाइज द सिली मिस्टेक्स डू लर्न फ्रॉम योर मिस्टेक्स विच कॉन्सेप्ट आर यू कमिटिंग अ मिस्टेक वेयर आर यू लैकिंग फोकस ऑन दो स्पेसिफिक एरिया बिकॉज इफ योर अटेम्प्ट इज गुड इट मीन यू हैव अ बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग इफ यू हैव अ बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट मीन देयर इज सम कंफ्यूजन देयर इज सम कॉन्सेप्ट दैट यू आर लैकिंग इन एंड वी कैन स्पेसिफिकली वर्क ऑन दैट इन ऑर्डर टू इंप्रूव आर परफॉर्मेंस ओके नो नीड टू रिवाइज द एंटायर सब्जेक्ट यू जस्ट नीड टू वर्क ऑन दैट स्पेसिफिक एरिया और दैट स्पेसिफिक मिस्टेक दैट यू आर कमिटिंग but again let me tell you revise all the subjects even when you are working with the weakest ones do make some time keep certain time in which you will revise your good subjects also because there will not be much time in which your good subjects can become your weak points okay if you don't revise regularly your good subjects also they will become weaker so we have to maintain our strength and at the same time we have to work on our weaknesses so revise your strong subjects less frequently but make sure you maintain certain schedule make sure you have certain time to revise those subjects also okay you have to revise your strength so that is the first analysis that we need to do moving on to the second one the second analysis that we need to maintain is our accuracy accuracy i think most of the test series will display so target and accuracy above 90% i am not saying in the next mock test itself you will get an accuracy of nine, more than 90% but that should be your eventual target that eventually i'll be able to be more than 90% accurate and at the same time target of attempt eventually means by the month of february attempt should be more than 70% so that should be eventual target for all you can maintain more than this that is someone can target 95% someone can target attempt equal to 90% that is not a issue but at least minimum minimum this should be your target which you are targeting to achieve i am not saying you all will be able to achieve this but unless our targets are high we will not be able to reach any distance or any height so keep your targets high but work upon them gradually that is if your accuracy right now is 75% in the next mock test target an accuracy of 78% 80% like that not directly 95% we have to build upon it gradually we cannot construct a wall within one day we have to go layer by layer so we have to increase our targets gradually but that is the eventual target by the month of february third thing performance how to measure performance basically check the difference of your marks with average performance and highest see some test may be very difficult okay some test may be very difficult so your score will be less but that will be the case for every aspirant every student score will go down in those tests which are more difficult so you have to check your performance relative to the average score as well as relative to the topper score so that you know you are gradually building up towards the top performance okay if your distance with the topper with the average is reducing then that means your performance is improving so to improve your performance your marks should be inching towards the highest marks i am not saying within one or two marks but gradually that difference should lessen okay fourth thing other than performance time used see in every question like we are displaying you have to monitor the time that you consumed after the mock test you have to see where you were stuck because that is how you will understand 
which sort of problems or which topics are more time consuming so that when you give next mock test you already know where your time could be spent and when you are well aware of it you will not attempt such a problem in your first attempt is it fine so monitoring your time usage will get you a clear idea of your mindset why you were stuck at a particular problem and you will keep that in mind when you give next mock test to not get stuck in such problem again if you keep that in mind then your ability to judge the problems will be better and you will be able to attempt easy problems in the first attempt and then move on to the difficult ones and that is what i talked about earlier in understanding how to judge a problem whether it is easy or difficult that only comes from experience and experience will be told by this parameter your experience will increase if you monitor this you can measure basically what we are displaying average time spent and your time spent so your time you should try and target that your time should never be more than the average time on that particular problem if you are taking more time take a note in your mind that such kind of problems in the next mock test will be done in second attempt in the first attempt i will skip such kind of problem that will enhance your experience that will make your question judging capabilities better okay so that is the fourth criteria and other than that i think this much analysis would be sufficient for you because this will also consume a lot of time and last step should be make a make a to do list basically to do list means what things you have to do before next mock test okay so based on this analysis i'll create some pointers or i'll create some targets for myself that this much i have to do before next mock test and how much i have to achieve in the next mock test how much i have to achieve means if you achieved an accuracy of 75% you will say to yourself in the next mock test my accuracy should be 80% if you attempted 60% of the paper or if you attempted suppose 40 problems target 42 problems in the next exam so increase your attempt by one or two questions in each mock test but try and increase your accuracy accuracy is most important other than that basically based on this subject wise analysis target which subjects will you be revising before the next mock test and what sort of revision will you be doing like short notes question practice and subject test always revision includes three components revising the concepts practicing some problems and giving a test so this sort of analysis will help you in monitoring your performance as well as telling you what steps do you need to take to increase your performance okay now i hope you will be analyzing your mock test properly and not wasting upon uh, not wasting your time pondering upon what you need to do thank you